Many consider this devotion to be the powerful spiritual complement to the famous message of Our Lady of Fatima. The parallels are incredible, yet most people don't know the full story behind it. Today you'll discover the remarkable details of how this transformative devotion was revealed from heaven itself. Howdy, and welcome to America Needs Fatima. My name is Adrian Fonseca, and thank you so much for joining me today. Do you struggle to attend daily Mass? Well, consider joining our Child Mary program. America Needs Fatima ensures a traditional Catholic Mass is offered each morning for our members. And your name and intentions are sent to Father Jerry, who prays for you 365 days a year. We have a special intention for our liturgy today, for our Mass. America needs Fatima's children of Mary. And especially so don't wait. Click the link below to become a child of Mary today and receive jaw-dropping gifts, including this daily mass offered for your intentions. Now let me share with you the incredible story of how the powerful devotion to the Sacred Heart of Jesus was brought to the world. The story today comes from the life of St. Margaret Mary Alacoque. It was written by the Right Reverend Emile Bagard, and also you'll have to forgive me of my French pronunciations. Uh, feel free to give me the phonetic pronunciations of any French words in the comment section down below. Margaret Mary Alacoque was born in 1647 in the humble French village of Laut Court to a family of wealthy and devout Catholics. From her earliest years, she displayed an extraordinary piety and the fervent desire for the religious life. However, this calling was beset by many difficulties. A chronic illness plagued her, and she faced stiff opposition from her own family in pursuing the consecrated vocation. Finally, in 1671, after years of perseverance and overcoming these arduous obstacles, Margaret Mary was accepted into the cloistered order of the Visitation of Holy Mary at the Monastery of paray le moniel There she was given the religious name of Sister Margaret Mary. And at the age of 24, she was permitted to profess her solemn vows in November of 1672. Just one year later, on the 27th of December, 1673, this humble visitation nun was chosen by heaven itself to receive a revelation that would set the entire world ablaze with the fire of divine love. Through her, our Lord Jesus Christ would unveil to all mankind the sublime and powerful devotion to his most sacred heart, a spiritual, heavenly weapon to combat the insidious coldness and appalling ingratitude towards God that was taking pernicious root in the hearts of the faithful. The First Vision As Sister Margaret Mary knelt fervently in prayer before the Blessed Sacrament, Jesus himself appeared to her in a miraculous vision. He allowed the blessed nun to rest for a long while upon his sacred breast. He opened it to me for the first time, she recounts in awestruck tones, in a way so real, so sensible that it left me no room to doubt. It was then that our Lord spoke those burning words which would change the entire course of Margaret Mary's life. My divine heart is so passionately in love with men that it can no longer contain within itself the flames of its ardent charity. It must pour them out by thy means and manifest itself to them to enrich them with its precious treasures, which contain all the graces of which they have need to be saved from perdition. Stunned into reverent silence by this unexpected heavenly calling, the humble nun could only protest her utter unworthiness and inadequacy for such a sublime task. But the voice of Jesus responded with firm reassurance. He added, I have chosen thee as an abyss of unworthiness and ignorance to accomplish so great design so that all may be done by me. In that miraculous moment, Margaret Mary's heart 
was instantaneously transformed into a lively furnace of divine love, causing her to be overcome with ecstasies of such rapturous power and intensity that it appeared she might die from their blazing fire. He proclaimed in solemn words, A precious proof of my love for thee, I enclose in thy heart a little spark of the most ardent flames of my love, to serve thee as a heart and to consume thee till thy last moment. The Second Vision The following year, during the great feast of Corpus Christi in 1674, our Lord appeared again in a vision of breathtaking glory, with the five wounds of his passion shining forth like brilliant suns. But now a profound sadness tinged his voice as he uttered this lament. This is much more painful to me than all I suffered in my passion. If men rendered me some return of love, I should esteem little all I have done for them and should wish, if such could be, to suffer it over again. But they meet my eager love with coldness and rebuffs. Do you, at least, console and rejoice me by supplying as much as you can for their ingratitude? To make reparation and console him for this coldness towards his infinite charity, Jesus asked Margaret Mary to receive Holy Communion frequently, especially on the first Friday of each month, and to keep a holy hour of prayer every Thursday night from 11 p.m. until midnight in memory of his agony in the Garden of Gethsemane. The devotion to his Sacred Heart was thus revealed as an expiatory offering to console the heart of Christ, so overwhelmingly afflicted by ingratitude and sin. The Third Vision Finally, on the 16th of June, 1675, the most solemn and decisive revelation took place as the Lord issued this command. Behold, this heart which has so loved men that it has spared nothing, even going so far as to consume itself to prove to them its love. And in return, I receive from most only ingratitude from those creatures who are so favored by professing themselves to honor and love me. And what is most painful to me is that they are hearts consecrated to me. He then asked that a new feast be established and celebrated annually in honor of his sacred heart. It is for this reason I ask thee, that the first Friday after the octave of the Blessed Sacrament be appropriated to a special feast to honor my heart by receiving communion on that day and making reparation for the indignity it has received while exposed on the altars. I promise thee that my heart shall dilate to pour out abundantly the influences of its love on all that will render it this honor or procure its being rendered. By means of this remarkable series of revelations to Margaret Mary Alacoque, our Lord was giving to the entire world a supreme effort and ultimate proof of his infinite love to reawaken faith, repentance, and devotion in the cold, ungrateful hearts of fallen mankind. After receiving the Sacred Heart devotion from 1673 to 1675, Saint Margaret Mary burned with zeal to spread this new devotion worldwide. However, this humble visitation nun faced tremendous opposition and skepticism, even hostility from many inside and outside her community, who doubted the supernatural visions and messages. It was only after meeting the wise Jesuit St. Claude Le Colombert in 1675 that Margaret Mary found the support she needed. Under obedience, she wrote detailed accounts of the apparitions, which St. Claude examined and approved as supernatural. From then on, St. Margaret Mary became an indefatigable force promoting the Sacred Heart revelations and the devotion that Jesus requested. She established some of the first confession chapels and instituted practices like the Holy Hour and Eucharistic Adoration. She also formed societies of, quote, guardians of the Sacred Heart to make reparation. But little did St. Margaret Mary know that God's merciful plan reached even further 
In subsequent visions, Jesus would reveal his profound desire for the entire kingdom of France to be consecrated to his sacred heart. What unfolded next was a remarkable trail of grace, hubris, and ultimate redemption that would impact the whole nation. Tune into part two to discover this continuing saga. As we conclude this remarkable journey, we are reminded of the powerful words spoken by Jesus himself to St. Margaret Mary. My divine heart is so passionately in love with men that it can no longer contain within itself the flames of its ardent charity. Through her unwavering faith and obedience, St. Margaret Mary became an indefatigable force in spreading the devotion of the Sacred Heart. And if you found this inspiring, it's crucial to share it with others and help spread this vital devotion worldwide. Remember, there is great grace given to those who promulgate this devotion to the Sacred Heart. And one easy way to do this is by sharing this very video with your friends and family. And if you're looking to deepen your involvement and receive additional gifts directly from us, consider joining our Child to Mary program. By becoming a Child to Mary, you not only contribute to spreading this life-changing devotion, but you also receive blessings and graces in return. For example, you will have a daily mass said in your name and your intentions every single day for as long as you're a member. You'll also receive a full-color, full-Catholic magazine called Crusade Magazine. You'll receive a beautiful metal lapel pin featuring the image of Our Lady of Fatima herself. And for this year only, you'll receive an ebook copy of the Book of Confidence. But our story doesn't end here. In part two, we shall see the horrible consequences of failing to answer God's call, but the mercy with which he shows the world. So subscribe to our channel so you don't miss it when it comes out and join our Child America program by clicking the link in the description down below. St. Margaret Mary, pray for us. Sacred Heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. May God bless you, and Mary Immaculate keep you under her mantle. God love you. Thanks for watching. To save souls, there needs to be more Fatima Focus content on YouTube. If you agree and you want to help me make more videos, please join our special Child of Mary group. As a Child of Mary, you'll get a beautiful Fatima pin, plus inspiring reports on America Needs Fatima work to save souls. Click the link in the description below to learn more and become a Child of Mary. God love you.